Mickey Fitzpatrick drives a cab. JFK, please. Some days are rough. I, I don't need any stability because I'm happy right where I am. His brother Francis is a Wall Street hotshot. No, have Ryan call. I'm a young stallion in the prime of my youth. I mean, look at you. You make a pile of dough and you're miserable. Hey, and I'm not miserable, OK? I'm dissatisfied. That's what makes me a success. About all these two have in common is the advice of their loving father. All right, ladies, OK, let's take this outside. Last thing you needed to do was get married. The one thing you got to remember is this is your life, not theirs. It's not the watch I want, Mickey. Pearls of wisdom that go a long way in explaining the difficulties the Fitzpatrick men are having with the women in their lives. From time to time, I like to pleasure myself with a vibrator. Deal with it. Difficulties that are testing the boundaries of brotherly love. I hope you realize how stupid you all look. All right, no punching below the belt, no kicking, and Francis, no biting. 25 years I've been waiting for the day I'd be bigger, tougher, stronger than you. You are an ugly bitch, I pity you. Great punch. You always did have a great right. I told Mickey about us. One punch? It was a cheap shot. And action. From the creator of last year's award-winning hit, The Brothers McMullen, director Edward Burns brings you his next motion picture, She's the One. Seven, Charlie, take one. Action. New York romantic comedy, and really kind of takes a look at how these two guys who grew up in the same house, uh, under the, the wrath of the same father. Hey, don't get all sensitive on me now, Barbara. Uh, how they became totally different. Uh, and uh, and at the same time, why they're, they're so much alike. How the hell do we have the same blood pumping through our veins? And how their upbringing is sort of affected, um, you know, the way they yeah. deal with the, their women and their wives. Well, you know, I mean, to be perfectly honest, the idea of, you know, two women at once seems like, you know, like a pleasant way to spend an evening. But it's funny. But, you know, of course, not if one of the, you know, girls are my wife. And, yeah, I mean, I don't want, I don't want to do it with anyone else, so, you know. So, yeah. No. Frasier star John Mahoney is the proud but puzzled papa of the Fitzpatrick boys. Let me get this straight. You don't want to cheat on your girlfriend with your wife? The relationships in this film between father and son are pretty, uh, I think, are unique. I've never seen anything like it, although I'm positive it exists, because from what I understand, Ed got a lot of it from his own relationship with his father. Where's your sister? He's in the bathroom primping himself. He thinks we're going to a fashion show, I guess. Come on, sweetheart, while we're still young. What do you think, Dad? You ever seen such a good-looking head of hair? Just get your ass moving, pretty boy. And cut it. Good. Good. Shot entirely on location in New York, from the charming bays of Brooklyn to the upscale apartments of Manhattan, She's the One also stars Jennifer Aniston in her first movie role since the success of Friends, and the mask's Cameron Diaz. I knew that about Brothers McMullen, it was before it had come out, and I asked if I could see the film. So I saw the film, and 15 minutes into it, I was like, oh, I want an appointment. Make me an appointment with this guy. I want to meet with him. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so let's do one more. The writing, the characters, the him, the uh, the whole, all of the ingredients put together made for something that you just wanted to be a part of. It's my joke with them that, uh, you know, now I'm cool because I'm working with Eddie Burns. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, thanks, man. I can be like walking around with a cool sign over my, I wear sunglasses now. Okay, hey Mike, give me that last line one more time again. Let, what's the big deal? Reuniting with Burns are McMullen alumni Mike McGlone and Maxine Bond. It's great. I mean, I wrote those two parts specifically for them. So to actually see them come in and, you know, I kind of knew what I wanted from them, and it's there. So it's, um, you know, plus, you know, I mean, I just love working with those guys. Okay, what if we do this? She's the One features an original score with new singles by Tom Petty in his first movie soundtrack. I put the tape on and watched it and really enjoyed the film. And I felt a little inspired by it. So I started playing with my guitar and, and uh, I thought, yeah, I, I can do this. Hey, how you doing? I'm, I'm good. Good. We start off with um, there's the cab driver Mickey, and he's really bitter, and he's been burnt by this his other love, and uh, he really doesn't believe in love anymore. And hope comes along. Long story short, he's got a driver down to New Orleans. She's afraid to fly, 
So she convinces him to drive her down to New Orleans in his cab. If I kept the meter running, it cost you, I don't know, like seventy, eighty thousand dollars <laughs> They're down there for two days. They decide they're in love. They get married. They show back up in New York, married. What the hell are you doing? Why do you let us up? I want you to be my wife. How does a couple who've only known one another for 24 hours, you know, make a relationship work? Oh, oh. I want to get married like that. Mickey, do you have any brothers that I just don't know about? Sorry, babe. Just Princess Kitty over there. <laughs> I think you stuck with him. Renee is Francis's wife, played by Jennifer Aniston. It's a seemingly good relationship. I mean, there's no reason for him to be doing whatever it is that he's doing. Renee's really jealous because she sees, like, this, this love, this impulse of great love. But do you see how they're always all over one another? That Dave sucks all the time. Does he ever tell you stuff like that? What? Granted, this man is my brother, but I do not ask him how often he's having sex with this girl. And what kind of numbers are we talking, like, five, six, seven times a day? Occasionally, I need sex. And for some reason, I'm married to a man who doesn't like to have sex anymore. Fran's a little confused. He, he doesn't know what he has. I haven't had sex with my wife in months. Well, I don't know if that's such a good idea, Francis. Clearly, you need the practice. Cameron Diaz plays Heather, who is the character that, that Fran it's wants to sort of leave his wife for. What we discover later on in the script is that the woman who, who sort of uh, broke Mickey's heart three years ago also happens to have been to Heather. I get to teach all the boys, yeah. you know, th this is the kind of woman that you stay away from because they will ruin your life. <laughs> Let's get this straight, okay? You do not love my ex fiance I mean, can you, can you understand that? It's a romantic comedy, sort of a love triangle. You see the black eye, don't you? Yeah. Well, that was the one punch. What makes you think I would want either one of these guys? Dude, that's the thing. Sorry. That's the thing. That's what hurts. That's what hurts. You're fired. Yeah. <laughs> I quit, so it doesn't matter. A lot of love on this set. <laughs> Some things are over. I didn't mean that. Some things go on. Weird fishing trip. Part of me you carry. Part of me is gone, but you got a part so big. It could crush this town, and I can't hold out forever. Even walls fall down. You know what, Mick? If you really think about it, all this is uh, entirely your fault.